previously on Life as Amber Knows It. Protein shakes, berries, and like this little, that's not gonna cut it for me. It's not enough food. I'm hungry. <laughs> when I tell you they are superior to Premier Protein, and that is hard for me to say because you guys know I love Premier Protein. These are really good. But get you a food scale so that you can weigh your food. And that's something you're probably gonna have to do the rest of your life. Oh, da -da 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 -da. All right, here we are. Here's what it all comes down to. This is my overnight bag, my laptop, um, my lunchbox with a protein shake. Let me show you. I'm running late, but you know, I always got time for y'all. <laughs> okay. Um, two protein shakes, Gatorade Zero, some uh, chicken seasoning, like the chicken bouillon seasoning. Um, and then some of these lemonade packets. Yeah. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7.31 a.m. Okay. Enjoy the sunshine, Amber. Thank you so much, Alexa. All right, so we're going to wrap up and head on out of here. Okay, so I've already removed all of my jewelry. I washed up with the Hibiclins. I don't know how you say it. And um, I have had no food or drink since I mean past midnight last night so we're heading to the hospital Bertha here wanted to get a little shine too <laughs> so that's always fun let's go okay Heavenly Father we come to you to have you over Amber Bernardes on her journey through surgery, Lord Jesus. We claim a victory over all things that are not of you. We, put, we ask you to put your hands on the doctor's hands, Lord Jesus, and the nurse's hands and keep them present and available during the surgery. We just thank you in advance, Lord Jesus, for covering her with your blood, covering her, her husband, her family with your blood, her daughter, make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to be. In the name of Jesus, we claim a victory over all things that are not of you, Lord Jesus. We claim a victory over things seen and unseen. We just pray that you have your archangel come and sit beside her bed and guide those doctors' hands. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over Amber Bernardes. Amen. 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 And I dropped the Bernardes a few years ago, but um, thank you. <laughs> that was, that was not me. <laughs> Wow. Oh, uh, did you say Hopton Bernardes? No. I didn't say Bernardes. <laughs> mm -mm. I wasn't even trying to say that. I was just trying to say Amber. But I'll have to remember your name. It's it's all good. I'm just messing with you. Oh my God! How many degrees is it? It is 7:40 in the morning, and it's so hot. All right. Um, but I have one more thing to ask. <clears throat> what is that pedicure? You cover her psychological mindset. That mm. surgery is not only successfully physically, but successfully mentally and emotionally. In the name of Jesus, we are going to receive everything that we have asked for. Amen. Amen. All right. I'll keep you guys posted. Okay. Call us when you get out, or have somebody call us when you get out. Yeah. All right, love you, sweetie. All right, love you too. Bye. So, how are you feeling? Exhausted and tired. Okay, not really. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about me getting surgery right now? I put eggshells in my salad instead of the egg last night. <laughs> how do you think my emotions are? I don't know. I don't know. So he peeled, he was putting a boiled egg in his salad, and he peeled the entire egg. And then realized he put all the shells in the bowl instead of his egg, instead of the trash can. And then he had to pick all the eggshells out. I'm having one of those moments. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna be taking the vlog camera in there. I will have my phone and I'll see what I can get. The sun is very aggressive right now. I will check in when I can. Amber? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Try to say something, sweetheart. 
Hey. How do you feel? Come you have it this way. Let me sit this out of the way. Oh, this way? I feel really queasy. Really queasy? Yeah. Okay. You want to say hello again? Well. Give us the top. She's pretty much, she's pretty much out of it. Yeah, she's feeling queasy, so um, she's gonna try to let her get some rest, but wanted to get that footage for you guys. All right, um, we love you guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Hey guys, so it's like 2 a.m. Got into this room around 12, 12 p.m. yesterday. This is tough. Yeah, I'm very puffy. <clears throat> My throat is a little hoarse from being intubated. I threw up like old blood maybe three times. I've been feeling very nauseous. I wanted to check in yesterday, but I literally, I just didn't have it in me. Anytime I talk too long, I start feeling nauseous. I have been doing pretty good with my liquids. I have so much stuff all on me. I have this ivy here, then over here. I can't lay all the way back. I have to be at least at a 30 degree angle. The nurses here are in incredible. They're so amazing. But they keep coming in here to like check my blood, check my blood pressure, um, check my blood sugar. They're doing their job. <laughs> And if you've ever been in the hospital overnight, you know you don't really sleep, sleep in the hospital. So, when I first woke up from surgery, I felt really nauseous. And so, the nurse gave me some nausea medicine. And then she checked on me a few moments later and she said, do you feel any better? And I said, nope. And she said, okay, I'm gonna have to give you something stronger. So then she gave me something stronger that literally felt like it put me in a, a coma. I don't know. I was so tired and she told me that because it was so strong, it was gonna make me really tired and groggy for a few hours. So I, that's why I couldn't even pick up to do anything. Yeah, luckily um, Aaron was able to stay here for a minute and get me settled. But I don't remember any, any like, I don't know, I just know I was really out of it when he was here and then it was time for him to leave and I was just like, no, don't go. Why are you leaving? He's like, I gotta go. <laughs> I enjoyed having him here for the time that he was, but he couldn't stay long because he was just a visitor. And with COVID, people can't stay overnight with you. So every time I have to pee, I buzz the nurse and um, they have to come in and help me. <clears throat> My nurse named Johnny, he was like, oh, I'm gonna give you some peppermint in a cup to sniff when you feel nauseous. And this has been really, like, I wanna continue doing this when I get home. Like, it's, I think it's just peppermint oil on some cotton balls, but it's just, it really helps. So I, every time I wake up, <laughs> I do a little sniff sniff. This is like, the longest I've been able to talk without feeling sick, and that's five minutes. Wow. The nurse poured me some two ounce or 50 cc cups, and they said in order for me to go home tomorrow, or I guess today now at this point, technically, I have to be able to keep down, was it four of these? I keep burping because I have a lot of gas and I haven't been able to walk yet because I just was. Yeah. Yeah so out of it but my nurse said he's gonna come in around five so we can go walk and i was like okay i'll be ready johnny so i can just take little sips like that sip was probably way too big i hope i'll be okay yeah that sip was too big mm. let me show you what else they brought me some jello some broth some crystal oh some diet cranberry some water of course um 
Like there's a little crystal like packet somewhere under there. And then there's a little cups I've been drinking from. And then this thing I'm supposed to take deep breaths into. Just thought I'd check in and give you guys that update. It's just been really tough. I've been really croggy. And like the main incision is hurting really bad. So my nurse told me that when I make a movement to inhale before doing it and then exhale while I'm doing it and that's helped a lot <clears throat> and I've been urinating a lot because <laughs> they've been giving me fluids um my nurse was like you're doing good you're doing really good like you're flushing everything out you're you're moving you're going to the bathroom you're doing everything you should be doing you know you keep like this your recovery is gonna be speedy I can tell you're motivated and I'm like yes I don't want to be down for the count for too long. <laughs> All right, I'll check in with you guys later. All right, so it's a little before 7 a.m. on the 31st. The only pain I can really feel is in like the largest incision. I was feeling a little nauseous, so my nurse gave me some nausea medicine. I've been able to finish about six of these little water, water cup thingies, and I don't, I don't know who busted my lip when I was in surgery, but uh, they can get this smoke. <laughs> I finally went to my bag and got my chapstick out because my lips were chapped. Um, I guess the doctors are going to be coming in here in a few minutes to talk to me about my progress and see how well I've been doing this thing. You have to like exhale and then go up to a certain level and try and hold it there. It's hard, it's making me kind of dizzy. If you're having the surgery, make sure you bring a robe because you're gonna be in this open-backed thing and you might be able to only put one arm in, but you could still drape it over the other one because you have this, you know, lovely contraption. Bring a robe. I'm just so happy I brought my robe. I mean, my, my booty is just out, it's just out. Yeah, that's all I have to update for right now. All right, I guess I'll check in in a little bit. Hey guys, so excuse the busted presentation, it is what it is. I just had surgery two days ago. I got home yesterday afternoon, they discharged me. My lip is still busted. I don't know who did that, it must have been when they were doing something with the tube. I've been trying to stay on track with my liquids. So this is some crystal light. It's supposed to take me 15 minutes to drink this little thing. And they want me to drink, I don't know, 64 ounces of liquid a day. Right now, I've been tracking. I've only had 14 ounces of liquid. Look at you! Wow! You're a skating queen! Hey, don't come this way. Because mommy has an owie, so we can't touch any of that stuff, okay? That's mama's uh, area. Okay? Mommy has an owie right here, so she can't pick you up. And you can't jump on her. But I can give you hugs and kisses. Okay? But mommy's owie, we gotta stay away from it, okay? Deal? You thirsty? What do you want, some water? Look at you. You little skating queen, you. Who just came out the bathroom? Give me no more of that stuff. <laughs> Hi! Oh my god, you got toner? No, she got skates on. I know. <laughs> Hi, Alice. Oh, I like your hair. You got skates. Uh, I miss you. You look so pretty. You look so pretty. Oh my god, you're so pretty. I miss you. Give me a kiss. Mm. Let me see you skate. Is this a dress that I bought her? No. She was one in Tironda bought her. Yeah, I bought her one similar to that. She looked tall. Right? That's what I keep saying. Like, she went away for a few days and grew. Oh, my baby. I love you. Uh, that's what I thought she was going to do, though. I thought she had enough time, mm -hmm. but I guess she did. Uh 
Okay, so I was sitting in the bed editing my video, and then I got a call from a guy saying he's from a florist company, and he's looking to drop off some flowers. And I was like, huh? So then I came in here, I asked my mom, can you go down and get some flowers? Somebody sent me flowers. And then she's like, stop playing. Are you serious? Are you for real? And then she went down and turns out the company that I modeled with, they sent me flowers. It was such a pleasant surprise. They're so pretty. Like how thoughtful is that? Thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. I still have some gas trapped in me. So I've been walking around the apartment. It was kind of difficult to get up the stairs yesterday. So I'm trying to just make it happen here inside walking from room to room. So Alex was with Aaron's parents for a few days and um, she's gonna be here with my mom and sister for a few more days. My mom is gonna be here for a few days. And then after that, we'll see. I can't lift anything bigger or heavier than 10 pounds. So I'm pretty limited. I feel very tired and um, very thirsty, just constantly thirsty, but I can only take little sips at a time. So that's where we're at. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to editing this video and um, I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, so today is Friday. It's Friday night and I... <laughs> I had my surgery on Monday. I have kind of been in bed for the past few days since I've been home, except getting up to go walk for 30 minutes. I didn't check in yesterday. As far as my pain goes, the only pain I feel is really where they made like the largest incision. And it's like, I don't realize how, mi how much I need to use my stomach muscles. So that's been hard, just trying to see like stiff and like, not been down to get things and remember just my restrictions like i'm healing from surgery um sleeping has been kind of difficult because i have to sleep at like a 30 degree angle at least and i'm used to being able to sleep on my side on my stomach so today i stayed out of bed the whole day so i got up around a little bit before 8 a.m and i didn't come back and lay down until like 7 p.m and even then i've still kind of been up like not just staying in the bed i was able to get down a lot more protein and water today because I was pacing myself. It's a little easier than it was the past few days to take things in. At first they sent me home with these little one ounce cups. That was what I was using and that was really slowing me down like <laughs> a little sick. So I talked to my coordinator I think it was two days ago. I can't remember everything was a blur and she told me that I didn't have to use one ounce cups, that I could just use a regular cup and just like sip regularly now. So now I've been using these um, little six ounce cups and just been keeping track of it. So I have my protein one and then I have my Gatorade Zero in one. I've also been showering every night, which feels always so good. That's where I'm at. This is day four post-op. Today I tried not to take my pain medication just because I don't like to take pain medication and I regretted it completely. I had to go and take some because girl, my incision was like this burning. Like I think the more that it heals, it starts to like burn and itch. Ugh. Like I literally don't feel the other incisions, it's just that really big one. It's so annoying. Yeah, I also have to take like a medication that keeps my gallbladder in check one that makes sure I doesn't get ulcers, another one that's like for nausea as needed but I haven't had any nausea since my first day home. I have to space them all out and I gotta take my multivitamins and it's just so much to remember. So much but it's wild to not be hungry. I baked a whole cake for my family today and I didn't even, I didn't even want any. It's like, it's, it's trippy. Probably gonna end this video here and I'll probably just do like a one week or a two week update we'll see we'll see but i did want to give you guys as much footage as i can as i could for this video if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them down below and i will answer them or maybe i'll put them in a q a video later we gonna see that's that's about it thanks for watching take care peace it's not over yet.